Why joins us? Do you, do you feel like a superhero? <laughs> you tell me, do I look like a superhero? <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> like, In disguise. Like, this, is, this is my this is my lighting setup, Dan. This is my ring light. Wow, it's very professional. It's well. Very yeah. professional. I'm the only person to ever actually have Marvel take money from me after the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did this happen, Wyatt? You're you're Captain America. Yeah, it, it, it was. I, I don't know. I, I they called and said like, "Hey, come in and read for a, a, a person," and then I, for like a Marvel character, they don't tell you who you're going to read for, and then you do it. And they're like, great, you're the guy. And then and then it's like, oh, thank you. Who's the guy? <laughs> who am I gonna who am I gonna play? And then they tell you, and first it was like, well, I don't know. You know, it's like well, Chris Evans is the man, and he did the I don't know want to do that. And they're like, oh no, it's not really that. And then they explained to me what the character was. And so um after they explained it, I was like, okay, that could be that could be pretty cool. But how do you act like a superhero in the audition? Uh, I, I, I didn't because they do a good job of making like, it's not, you're not a suit. They, it would be amazing if they gave you a suit and said, okay, now <laughs> I do your best to fly around the room. And, and uh, that would be incredible. But they just, they just give you like a scene that to, to, to act in. And then they decide whether or not you're going to be a superhero or not. Also oh, just regular dialogue. Yeah, it's just regular dialogue. I like it, it's not. It's really nothing. There was no special circumstance to how they decide whether who is going to be the guy or not. But how how much did you know about what Chris Evans had done as Captain America? I didn't know it, other than what I other than what not living under a rock, you know. Yeah. Um, that like you know it's huge and everybody loves it and and the interesting thing that I said a lot and i think maybe some people can relate is i i didn't grow up loving comic books my superheroes were athletes it was like joe sackick and peter forsberg and sergey fedorov and march amador they were like superheroes you know that those were my superheroes bo jackson was a superhero Deion sanders was a superhero and so i didn't ever that i didn't connect to comic books in any way and you know, say what you want about it, but I just did not. And so when it came around to doing it, I only knew Marvel from the movies. I, I didn't know them from the comics that much. I, you know, they were, they were always just funny guys in tights and shields. And then when I saw the movies, it was like, oh, they're doing a great job of making it, you know, cool and, and more relatable. So I just didn't know that much about it. And, and then you Google stuff and it's like, don't do that because you'll go down a <laughs> rabbit hole you'll never come out of. <laughs> but we liken it to taking over for Tom Brady, like you're, you're, you're taking over for Chris Evans. You're taking over for Tom Brady. No pressure yeah, whatsoever. Right. And, right? It, and, and I feel, I feel terrible for whoever has to take over for Tom Brady. You know, it's like, Oh my God, good luck. You're going to fail. And, and so that's was part of the part of the trepidation. And then when they told me what the character was, it was like, Oh, okay. That's interesting. There's an interesting aspect that like, I can't give away that, um, you know, is, it does. You do liken it to that. He created the MCU or helped it with all those guys. And, and so when you're coming in, you're going, well, I hope I can just do the thing that I do. And then, but you guys know me from even coming in last time. It's like, I'm the last person in the world who thought I would be doing this. This is not what I thought I'd be doing, but here I am. 